making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Welcome to Crafting Kitty. That came out weird. And as the jingle will tell you, it is Things We're Making Thursday. But there is an addition. I got a little package in my P.O. box. It's in this beautiful fall themed baggie. And it comes with a wonderful card. Yes! My next stitch set from Ellie Leva has arrived. I ordered the fall colors one. I am so excited. She always makes such beautiful sets. So I plan on opening one a day. There might be some days you don't see one. I do pre-film a lot of videos and like a yarn review takes a couple of days so but we'll get through the pack and it'll be fabulous <laughs> oh thank you Ellie it says hi Erin enjoy your stitch markers happy fall take care Ellie I will you as well and I cannot wait for fall to arrive it was 98 degrees here on Tuesday it uh, fall needs to come okay so we're gonna open this I am going to first look for the stitch marker holder. Okay, it was right there. It is very, very fun. It has three wooden beads painted in beautiful fall colors. Mm, there you go. Kind of a coppery brown, a dark red, and a mustard sunflower yellow. And then... Let's see. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, there's a little wooden truck ornament in there, too. Oh, that is cute. That is so cute. I love it. Sometimes she throws little extras in. And there is a leaf confetti down at the bottom here that I can see. Oh, and there is... Oh, there's acorns. Oh, that is adorable. Okay. And here is stitch marker numero uno, number one, first one of the set. Let's see what it is. It's going to be great. I love the fall colored tissue paper in there. You think of everything, Miss Ellie. Oh, and the paper. Oh, Ellie. That is adorable. Okay, so the cardstock on this one is beautiful autumn leaves. I'm going to show the stitch marker on the back of it because it's white. It is an adorable little hedgehog with some autumn colored beads and there's an apple and I think it might be a mushroom on the back of the hedgehog. Look at how cute that is. Oh, ignore my nail polish. Bingo decided we we're going to have a manicure day. Four-year-olds applying nail polish isn't always the best, but it's a fun time and <laughs> it's a good memory. You should see my toes. Nail polish dripping between them. Oh, day one <laughs> is amazing. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Ellie. And I'm going to hang my little car on that hooky. There we go. The car's there too. Perfect. Where am I going to put this where I won't forget it? Right here. Often I just get in my head what I'm going to do and then I forget to do that. So we're going to try not to do that this time. Okay, but we are here for Things We're Making Thursday. And this month, September, is all about gloves and wristlets, wristers, warmies, hand thingies, whatever you want to call them. Um, we had three patterns um, that we had found for free online. And then we also had found amongst the collaborators for the Things We're Making Thursday that there were three glove or hand warmer type patterns amongst them. So, oh no, don't look at Betty. She doesn't have anything on because I sent the shawl away. <laughs> so, what have I done 
this month so far. So first week I did the party wristlets, the Caron party wristlets designed by Kari Carrie Clement. It was this one and they're supposed to be done in Caron party yarn which is a sparkle yarn. And I actually have some Caron party but it was white and I didn't want to make it in white. So <laughs> I went into ye old stash and found I feel very 80s I feel like I belong in like a music video but lilac sparkle mesh hand warmers oh my goodness so this is using the mainstay the sweet violet it's a light purple with an iridescent shimmer in it. I love this. I made Bingo a dress out of that. Adorable. But. So I followed the pattern to a T on this. As you can see, they are very big on my hands. And I don't have dainty little lady hands. I have, I have, uh, I have beer hands. So I'm not quite sure what I did wrong. Um, but... I think they're fun enough that I'm not going to remake them or anything, but I would just, if you make this pattern, maybe try them on. She like suggests you try them on at various stages and I just blithely went ahead and did what I wanted to do and ended up with this. Um, I might be able to do like some elastic or something in there to tighten this up. I'm not sure, but here we go. They're fun regardless. I like it. I don't think you can see the sparkle. Oh, there, maybe you can see the sparkle. They kind of look dragon scaly to me as well. Do I look like Madonna? Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. Although I know that was not 80s, that was 90s, and this is definitely an 80s vibe thing. But I feel like Madonna. Okay. <laughs> We'll stop that. Okay, so my plan, it's warm. I gotta take them off. Um, my plan for next week is to start working on the next pattern, which is the crochet stripes arm warmers. And I actually have the exact yarn that they used to make these in this same derby stripe colorway. However, I'm not using it. <laughs> I have another mainstays yarn that I pulled off of the shelf and I'm going to try that. I'm going to make it in this pink multicolor and we'll see how it turns out. Who knows? I think it'll be cute. I think it'll be fun. Um, so this is, I've got two of those. It says you're going to need Oh, wait, there's different sizes. What? Oh, gosh, I have to... Oh. Upper arm circumference. What? Is this going to go on my entire arm? What? Oh, dear. Okay. I got big old upper arms here. I think a lot of us do. Um... I thought this was just something that would go here. I'm still going to try to make these. Um, I'll see. Wrist circumference. I know my wrist circumference. It puts me at a size 2. But there's no way my upper arm... Oh, they don't tell you where to measure your upper arm. My upper arm. Let's get embarrassing. Let's let's do this. So, like, where on the upper arm do you think it's going to go? Because if I go, like, bicep. We're at 17 and a half, which is in between size 
three and four. They have 16 and a half and 18, but I know my wrist is a seven inch. Yeah, it's exactly seven inches. Um, but I guess if you made it eight, that wouldn't be that bad, right? Okay, so I'm going to try... And I'm going to assume it actually won't go all the way up my arm and I'd wear it more pushed down here. Because if you go like down here, my circumference is 15, which puts me at the 2, at size 2. Ugh. Okay guys, what would you do? Would you do the size two? Cause that matches my wrist and my upper arm down here, which let's be honest, I think that's probably where I would wear it up to. Or would you go with a size three for a larger wrist and have it match your upper, my upper, upper bicep area? Let me know. I, I really don't know what to do. I, I am tempted to do the third size. Um, and have just a slightly bigger wrist area. And that might be nice because maybe I could pull it down over my hands a little bit. Kind of like she has in her picture where it's kind of... See, looking at the picture, I just assumed it was not going to go up your entire arm. Hmm... Well, I'm glad we're here and we can talk about these things. Let me know what you would do. Would you plan it to go for the, a shorter part of your arm or for a longer part of your arm? I mean, they want it to be length. Wait, no. I read that totally wrong. upper arm circumference. I was reading the length. That 15 and a half that I was reading is the length, which is the length of the man. Okay. I might not be able to make these. At least for myself. Maybe I'll make them smaller and give them away. Or do like size 2 and then have a giveaway on them. But I don't think... So 15 and a half inches would put it up here. What did I say my arm measurements were? No, they say upper arm circumference 9, 10, 10 and a half, 12 at 15. I mean, I guess I could do some maths and try to make it bigger. It seems like it's mostly double crochets here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to make this for the practice of making it. Make it not for myself. I'm going to use the size. You know what? Let's go ahead and just make. Because now I'm wondering if I were to give them away, how would I make sure it would fit the person I give it to if I were to do a giveaway here with it? Hmm. I did not realize that this would be so sized. Like, I thought it would be, like, stretchier and more... 
Hmm. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm not gonna. Okay, change of plans. We are going to leave the yarn inspirations, crochet stripes, arm warmers to the side while I noodle on it. I'm going to go ahead and move forward with the fantail stitch, which is the hooked by Robin pattern that also is available. And for that one, she says she loves using um, boho spirit yarn but she said she also quite likes using Red Heart Unforgettable. Um, but she says she doesn't think, um, she says she finds she needs to do a larger hook with it. I have this gorgeous landscapes, Lion Brand Landscapes, which is kind of like Red Heart Unforgettable, but I find I don't think it's quite as fuzzy. Um, and the colorway I have is Mountain Range. It is beautiful. It is gorgeous. I want to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Fantail Stitch um, Fingerless Gloves. And then maybe I'll come back to the other one after I noodle and think on it. Uh, let me, what would you do? Just let me know and that will be part of my decision making on the other striped one. I'm really thrown. I should have read a little closer and not just assumed that it would be more size inclusive. <laughs> Those big armed folks. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye!